Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I'm talking about the Cyber Information Sharing Act, or CISA. Last week, a Senate Intelligence Committee quietly passed CISA with a resounding 14 to 1 judgment. And CISA, of course, is really the reincarnation of CISPA, or the Cyber Information Sharing and Protection Act. At a high level, CISA is designed to set up a framework for private organizations and the government to share security intelligence. One thing they talk about are things like indicators of compromise, URLs, IPs, and file checksums that are known to be bad. Now, of course, the opponents of CISA mentioned that it could just be another surveillance act uh, giving government new authorities to get information from private organization. And they argue that the language in this bill does not uh, do enough to protect the privacy of customers uh, in these private organizations. Personally, I do believe there could be a value to private organizations, security organizations, and the government sharing some information. However, the language in this current CISA bill is very, very vague, and I tend to agree with a lot of the security opponents that think it doesn't do enough to protect privacy. Now, whatever I believe, if you're interested in this bill, you should check out a great Wired article about it. And just because it passed this Intelligence Committee panel does not mean it's law yet. It still, of course, has to go through the Senate and the rest of the U.S. government. But it's definitely something to keep an eye out. If you were following CISPA a few years back, this bill is essentially the new form of CISPA. So if if you're a U.S. citizen, be sure to pay attention to this and let your voice be heard. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.